My name is Chris Crow. I grew up in this town and I attended public schools. I'm also a graduate of the Chamber of Commerce Leadership Program. In 2010, I was appointed to the Planning Commission on the board of the St. Leandro Education Foundation and the St. Leandro Sports Foundation, and I worked on the Measure M School Bond Campaign. These efforts created new union jobs and funding for enrichment and sports programs. I'm the co-founder of a community group, Team Craig, which raises money each year to fight cancer and fund two scholarships at St. Leandro High School. And I'm proud to be endorsed by the Alameda Labor Council to have the sole endorsement of the Building and Trades Council, the endorsement of current elected officials like Mayor Stephen Cassidy, Council Member Pauline Cutter, School Board Member Mike Katz, and School Board Member Matt Lance James. And for years, I've been attending city meetings, council meetings, commission meetings, and various um, committee meetings. And I've been engaging on issues at different points in the decision-making process. This has prepared me for the job. But what are some of the issues? When I knock on doors, what I hear over and over is economic growth, fiscal sustainability, and safer neighborhoods. In terms of economic growth, we do have this fiber loop. It is imperative that we do take advantage of it. I grew up in a generation where we heard a lot, just wait, just wait, the business will come. That approach cannot be taken with the fiber loop. And I'm, I'm pushing for a larger incentive program to help businesses and our industrial opportunity sites to connect their building to our fiber, to create the capacity for jobs today and jobs tomorrow. Fiscal sustainability. I'm the only one of my opponents who has come out and said, reform is needed in our pension system. Labor Council understands my position on reform. And I think a no reform position is, is just irresponsible and divorced from the reality that exists. It should be, pensions need to change, and that change should be negotiated at the negotiating table with our unions. Safer neighborhoods. My biggest concern is our increase in youth, in youth crime. And what I see from growing up in this town to what exists now is we have a lack of opportunities for our young people. And they will not stop until they find something to do. And they are finding things to do. And I want to work with nonprofits and create programs within the city so our youth can be more involved. Now, I have studied the issues, and I have real solutions to the table. And I look forward to being on the council so that I can work with six other dedicated people in solving the problems and bringing together solutions that are equitable, that create sustainability, and that keep us safe. Stand for safe housing, access to health care, good jobs, and a good quality of life. I ask for your support tonight. Thank you. Let me tell you guys something. I've been in politics for about two and a half months now. Started about August 1st, so obviously I'm probably the rookie of the group. Um, probably the most nervous of the group. Um, but what I want to talk to you guys about is over that course of that two and a half months, my friends and my family, they've been asking me a lot of questions. They've been saying, hey, Justin, you know, why are you running for city council? Why would you get into this whole politics thing? Why would you put yourself out there like that? And the one thing that we come down to is that not more than a half mile from where we're sitting today, last year, on an afternoon kind of like this, a guy like me was standing out in front of his house. He was standing out in front of his house with his wife and kid inside the house. This is a guy like me. My wife and my kids in the back, my son Christian, and they were inside the house. And while he's standing outside the house, Three guys come up to him and put a gun in his face. And they bring him inside the house, and then they rob them. And he handcuffs the man, and he robs them in front of his family. And that is the San Leandro that we currently live in today. It's not the San Leandro from 30 years ago. It's the San Leandro from 20 years ago. It's not the San Leandro from 10. Our current city council has done an excellent job of trying to do the most they can for us with Measure Z and keeping the resources going. But I want to give us a voice in Washington Manor because I'm the candidate who's lived in Washington Manor my entire life. I've been in Washington Manor for 30 of my 34 years, raising my family in the same house that I grew up in. I don't know if we can say that about all the candidates here today. So some people might have a lot of great solutions and a lot of bright ideas. When we dig deep into those ideas, what we're going to see is that they're, what they're really talking about is increasing a lot of taxes and adding a lot of taxes. Well, I could have got up here today and said that. I could have got up here today and said, you know what, allow medical marijuana dispensaries. And by the way, let's tax them too. 
And you know what, while we're at it, let's tax some big box retail. And while we're at it, let's also, you know, maybe tax some airport parking. And you know what, that's not really like ingenious thinking right there. Anybody can do that. I'm here to provide some real leadership to the table, give you guys some integrity, give you guys some character. That's what I'm running on. A family man raising his family in Washington Manor over on Beatty Street for the last 30 years. I'm not trying to be a career politician. Get in here for four years, do my best to work with the current city council. I really hope they get elected because I think they've been doing a really good job. They brought Kaiser to our city, Measure Z. They got the fiber optic loop going. They got a lot of different things going on. That's what I'm running on, to give the city a voice, a voice that knows public safety. I've been doing investigations for over 15 years. I've worked in retail loss prevention management for over 15 years. And, you know, I also got a degree in administration of justice. So maybe I could get in there, talk with the police officers, talk with the chief of police, give some ideas, give a little insight, rally the community, and bring community policing back. My name is Darlene Devu, and I'm running for City Council District 4. And I'd like to start by telling you a little bit about myself. I have an MBA from Golden Gate University and a Bachelor's of Science degree from Ball State University. What that means to you is I enjoy working with numbers to pro problem solve. I love statistics. I like talking about opportunity costs and what happens if you don't take that opportunity and short and long-term long financial planning. And I would enjoy shaping policies surrounding private-public partnerships. I've been living in San Leandro for nine years, six years in Washington Manor, and I have over 15 years working in local government in San Francisco and San Mateo County. I'm a single, professional, hardworking woman. I'm analytical, practical, I'm mature, and a fresh voice willing to do the work, make government work for us. I'm running for city council because I see it as an opportunity to give back to my community, especially during these recent recessionary times. I'm tired of sitting on the couch complaining. I want to come out and do the work to move us ahead. I'm running for city council to preserve essential city services like the police, fire, libraries, senior services, park and recreation, as well as capitalize on our opportunities in the horizon. Kaiser Permanente, fiber optic loop, Village Marketplace, and the Shoreline Development. I have experience as a senior commissioner. I was appointed in 2010, and I'd like to take my volunteer service to the next level. Thank you. My name is Benny Lee. Thank you, San Angel Chamber of Commerce, as well as the League of Women Voters for this opportunity to present our views. My wife and I came to San Leandro over 20 years ago, and in the late 90s, we saved a lot of money to buy our very first home in Huron Bay because of San Leandro's unique characteristics and the quality of life that it offers. And Ten years ago, I became active in many of the San Leandro issues and politics, and which included community outreach, engaging with our elected officials, actually campaigning for many of them, and including uh, many critical measures that kept our city solvent. I decided a few years ago to run uh, through the encourage, uh, encouragement of many elected officials as well as city staff. So here I am today. All of us are running here today because of the ideas and visions that we have for San Leandro. The key thing that differentiates myself with opponents is the fact that I have many years of experience, over 10 years of experience with the city. I've uh, been involved in policy design and policy making, working with many of our city officials, working with them on the measures, which is a differentiating factor. The other factor is that I've been involved in financial management and financial design for budgets for entire companies for over the past 20 years. That's another thing that I bring to the table that's different from my opponents. I've trained folks on finance. I've dealt into the numbers. I've dived into business uh, information and been able to dig out 
tidbits that were able to help balance the budgets as well as uh, bring more revenues into, into the businesses that I've worked for. My background in technology systems and more importantly in information gives me the ability, which I believe is an asset for the city. I'm endorsed by Mayor Tony Santos, Mayor Sheila Young, Mayor John Faria, owners, presidents, the Police Officers Associ Association, as well as the Asian Pacific, uh, the Asian Pacific uh, American Democratic Caucus. I would be honored to have your vote. Thank you very much.